loud. What is up guys? We're gonna have a lot of fun today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare the cheap China horn, which is right here, the cheap crappy China horn, basically a compressor to a air tube and you hit the 12 volt system. So you just hit a switch and it shoots the air through here and then it exits out as of course is the sound that you're hearing. So they advertise that this horn right here is as loud as a train horn. Or to be more specific, a horn blasters train horn. So anyways, guys, I have a horn blasters train horn, which I'm gonna be showing you guys. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and lay all the contents out on the table for you. I'll show you what I have. Um, and then on top of that, I'm gonna install it on the truck, which I'm not gonna show you how to install it in the video. I'm actually gonna be posting another YouTube video. But sure, these are loud, don't get me wrong. These China horns are loud, but they're definitely not as loud as the train horn. I already have it right here, as you guys can see. I bought another one, the same exact one. This was on my truck, so the test would be totally inaccurate because this thing doesn't even work anymore. It lasted three months. It crapped out three months later, which I'm not surprised you get what you pay for. But I have that hooked up to a switch right now, 12 volt switch. I have my sound level meter, which is right underneath this camera right here. I hit that button and it's gonna measure the level of the sound on the sound level meter. And then of course, we're gonna do it to the actual train horns, which are already installed on the Duramax. To make it sound like a real train horn, I'm gonna blast it with about 145 PSI or 150 or so. I'm gonna, somewhere in that range, we'll see. But it's gonna be stupid loud. So make sure you stay tuned for that. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I kind of burped it a couple of times. So you have an idea of how loud it is if you were to actually use you know a gigantic air compressor totally overkill but we'll see how it holds up that's what's going on in my little world make sure you guys stay tuned i'm going to go in my house show you what i have in the boxes we'll get back out here we'll blast these horns stay tuned what you guys see here is the mounting bracket for the spare tire delete kit this is the entire kit it comes with all the hardware all the fittings everything that you're absolutely going to need to install the air tank as well as the awesome air horns that we're going to install on this bad boy so let's go ahead and get to the next box you come with your four horns check out this air tank Hey guys, so you are looking at the Conductor Special 244K Nightmare Edition. Now this particular model number is an HK-S4-244K. This is the contents. Now this would be the Nightmare Edition and then this would be the Delete Kit. I'm super pumped to put this thing together, so let's go ahead and get this started right now. Show you what's comparable to the china horn which is the musket horn made by horn blasters so i wanted to try to go after some of the best products here it is right here we're going to go ahead and review this on the channel as well so here we go here's the musket horn side by side comparison right there and then of course it's going to come with you know everything you're going to need to install it, with the exception of the actual switch to turn it on to make things just a little more interesting let's go ahead and try out the psycho blaster v2 Again, another Horn Blasters product. So we'll go ahead and wire those up as well. See how these, I, I'm excited to hear what these sound like. I bet you these are way louder than these guys. And then last but not least, this is a motorcycle air horn. So here's the four horns that I will be reviewing today. And then at the very end of the video, guys, I want you guys to watch the end of the video because I'm gonna blast the train horns on the Duramax. And I know it's not a fair test by no means, but it's not fair when you watch reviews on these things and literally they make it sound like a real train. So let's go ahead and show you guys what it really sounds like. All right, so now that we're done with the unboxing, we're gonna go ahead and have some fun. We're all set up. I have the sound level meter on. I have the camera on the other side. So let's do this. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, 111. Not bad, it's pretty loud. They claim that it's 150. All right guys, so uh, put some gloves on for this one. Hearing protection required. And just in case, never know. All right, here we go. And this is where we're currently at right here. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> it's 
so loud. It's crazy. Seriously. I wish you guys can hear that in person. Wow. All right. Let's take a look at the, uh, the reading here. <laughs> 128. Yep, that's about right. That's insane. So the only way for that to really sound like a real train horn is to hook up a gigantic air compressor and ramp up and ramp it up about 145 psi. And I think you can possibly get to the point where it sounds like a train horn. <laughs> Cause that's incredible right there. I'm surprised it didn't explode. Alright, so here we go. Here's the big old musket from horn blasters. Let's see if this is any louder. Yeah. Check out the data once I edit this video, so I'm not too sure. I don't think I'm gonna compare how loud it is compared to the other two, because these two right here are the ones that are, I'm really more concerned about. But just to have a little bit of fun, we'll go ahead and blast this one, and then we'll blast the motorcycle horn. So here we go. <laughs> That sounds like a car horn. All right, here we go. Looks like the horn faced that way, so. All right. <laughs> Dude, that is loud. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and test out the train horn. So, what? I know this is a totally blown out test here, so. Don't take this data as true, okay? Just having a little bit of fun. But I have my little decibel reader right here set up on the ladder, and I'm just gonna set my phone here. You can show what the reading is right here. I'm really curious myself, because it's really going off of sort of the bass, you know, the deepness of the actual noise. So right now we got, so right now we just have this thing airing up. It doesn't take too long. Surprisingly, with this kit right here, the uh, Vire, I did some research on it. It takes like a minute to air up. It's really neat. All right, guys, so the tank is full. I'm going to go ahead and get my camera set up on the other end here. <laughs> that was loud. Let's see the result. A whole lot louder than those over there. Not too far off, though. But still, wow, I should have wore some hearing protection, man. This entire garage just went crazy. <laughs> Everything vibrated, this is great. Man, this is well worth it, I'll tell you what. Don't know what for, I mean, there's no reason to be obnoxiously loud, but you know what, man, we're just having fun. So clearly, the China Chief Air Horn is a bust, it's not as loud as a train horn, we all know that. Guys, I'm gonna get you some more shots of me driving around, honking the horn in some later videos. And uh, also, I have to scare my wife with this train horn. You guys, use my coupon code TRUCKMASTER. It's going to save you guys some coin. 10% actually, if you guys decide you want to buy any one of these. I would actually recommend if you guys want to buy a horn blaster's horn and you don't want to spend the big bucks, what I would recommend is going with the musket horn. This thing is awesome. Seriously. It may not put out as much sound as I thought it would, but it is super loud. It's super deep. It sounds a whole lot better than the China horn, I'll tell you that right now. As far as I'm concerned, hate to beat the dead horse, but it's garbage. You know that saying, you get what you pay for? This is gonna last a whole lot longer than three months, because that's how long that horn lasted me, three months. So I guarantee you, this is, you're gonna get a whole lot of life out of this. So why not spend the extra few bucks and get a nice horn? That's kind of where I'm getting at. But overall, the Conductor Special Nightmare Edition, <laughs> 240, I love the name, it's so cool. That right there is just blowing it out of the water. That's a way louder horn than I could have ever imagined. I mean, I, I thought, I knew it was gonna be loud when I installed it, but I didn't realize it was gonna be that loud. I mean, it is crazy. So I've had a whole lot of fun making these videos. I want you to stay tuned because the very next video is exactly how to install that thing. And I went on YouTube and I could not find an actual good install video that will show you, you know, exactly how to wire it, how to assemble everything. Cause guys, seriously, when you guys get this, you saw the unboxing. It's, there's so many pieces in, you know, the instructions, you get one page. So it's just, it's kind of vague. So bear with me guys, watch that install video. It's really gonna help you guys out. Now out of all the little horns, what I thought was really interesting is this is the loudest. I thought the Psycho V2 would be the loudest, but it does have a different pitch to it. So the test is inaccurate guys. I'm not saying that this is 
the best test ever. It's definitely inaccurate. But as far as sound level, this beats it right here. But what really blows my mind is the motorcycle horn, guys. This thing is incredible. I believe it was only one decibel less than this one right here. This thing is stupid loud. Some of you guys may actually disagree with me on this one, but I think it's awesome. I don't even have a spare tire on my Duramax. I just, I took it off anyways. But it's kind of cool that I have a, they call it a spare tire delete kit. And that's, that entire bracket is what mounts all of your horns, your compressor, your tank, everything. You essentially, you remove your old spare tire. You're going to simply use that existing winch that you used to hold the spare tire in place. And you're gonna suck that thing right up into the back end of the truck. That's all you gotta do, it's very simple. I'm ramping up for another giveaway on the channel. So if you've already ordered something as of January 1st, 2020 until present, you're already automatically entered in for the drawing just to make it even. But very soon I'm ramping up for this next giveaway. I think you guys are gonna like it, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video today. I do appreciate your time as always. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.